Have you seen the Lincoln Project's new ad? They show all these Nutter Butters' worst moments and how they work up their congregations to take over the government. Your work matters so much. Take care. Thank you, uh, Viv. I appreciate that. Uh, I have not seen that. Apparently, the Lincoln Project did a new ad uh, about Donald Trump. Lincoln Project is a group of Republicans that, that recognize that Donald Trump is toxic to the party and tearing it apart. So let's see what this ad says here. Why does MAGA love Vladimir Putin so much? He reminds them of someone they love. Both are pathological liars. We will be aiming at denazification of Ukraine. I think it was an insurrection caused by Nancy Pelosi. Both yeah, fair enough. They're both lying there. Absolutely. Both hate democracy. He controls the press. He controls the oligarchs. Agreed. Both use violence to attack law and order. We will never give up. We will never concede. You don't concede with this theft involved. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, Donald Trump wants to fill that dictator role. He wants to be the dictator. Quick note before we continue, I want to let you know I just wrote a book. If you want to check it out, owenmorgan.com slash book. It's a book about my experiences within Jehovah's Witnesses. It's completely understandable if you know nothing about Jehovah's Witnesses. And if you're a Christian, it's a good reference to use for why Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong about their interpretation of the Bible. The last chapter of the book is 100 questions that I have for the governing body. I'm selling the last chapter separately as its own separate guide, if you guys want to get that too. So check it out, owenmorgan.com slash book. I'd appreciate that. Both demean women. Blood coming out of her wherever. Both think their supporters are stupid. Vladimir Putin has signed a decree banning so-called homosexual propaganda. I love the poorly educated. The yeah, yeah, that, that's all true. I think that Donald Trump is, I, I don't think he cares about gay people one way or another. If it can be weaponized in his favor, then he will attack gay people. Otherwise, he's like, well, just let, you know, let him vote for me. Like, why do I care? I don't think Trump even cares about, like, if people are trans, honestly. I think, uh, well, of course, he attacks trans people nonstop. I think the reason that he does that is because it gets claps. People clap their hands into bloody nubs. When he talks about hating trans people or whatever, or, you know, how they're evil or the, you know, the bathroom, you're trying to get in your bathroom or whatever other thing. I mean, Donald Trump will do anything if a crowd kind of encourages him to walk in that direction. The one big difference between Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump in America, our votes count. We can stop Donald Trump. Don't let mega turn America into Russia. Vote because you still believe in America. Soft, dramatic music. <laughs> I like it, actually. That's good. I like that. That, that. that was a good ad. I should have blown that up all the way, fortunately. Uh, the Lincoln Project, they're Republicans. I don't agree with them on nearly anything. But we can have the shared goal of keeping Trump out of office. What's this? Do I want to listen to this? Trump accuses of using AI in our ad. Oh, I remember that. Okay, yeah. Donnie, I always knew you'd blow it. Oh, God, is that uh, Donald Trump's dad? Oh, my God, they used AI to reproduce Donald Trump's dad, Fred Trump. You were always a fool, a joke, low rent. I bailed you out so many times. Your deals were all garbage. You couldn't even make money off a casino, you f oh my god that's that's crazy i can't believe they did that boy they they don't pull the punches do they they just swing quick interjection this won't take long if you like what i do i'd appreciate it if you watch the video to the end youtube bases video reach off of watch time so watching even an extra minute makes the video go further liking and subscribing goes a long way too finally it would be awesome if you guys checked out my patreon all links are in the description of course okay back to the video but for the record, yeah, how does somebody go bankrupt on a casino? A casino is literally set up to only pay out, I don't know what it, like 80% or something of their earnings. They are guaranteed, like they set their profit margin. How do you go bankrupt in a casino? You know how? I'll tell you how. You buy the casino from somebody, you take out a whole bunch of loans, and then you file for bankruptcy. 
in the casino's name. You you know, the casino files for bankruptcy. And then you deposit all of that loan money into your account. Suddenly you don't have to pay a dime back. You just took out a bunch of loans and it's in your account now. That is how you make a, a casino fail. Or you launder money through the casino into, you know, into America from Russia or wherever else. Money laundering is pretty common, or was at the very least, with casinos at the time that Trump had a failed casino. I'm ashamed you have my name. Everyone knows why the women leave you. You're boring. You're broke. And I told you not to get fat. You pay porn stars and you're weak down there. Your kids hate you, especially the girl. How did a son of mine turn out so damn dumb? Oh, dude, I remember these. Oh, these are really good. Um, this is where Trump literally this the, there was an eclipse happening and he chose to look directly up at the sun <laughs> you stupid son of a what are you doing donald is this his first eclipse has he literally never heard anybody say don't look at the sun directly and then the the eagle thing did you guys see the eagle you remember trump being attacked by this eagle <laughs> I love it. Now it's so damn dumb. The brand I built is crap because of you. You're trash. You'll be lucky to stay out of jail. I may have lost my mind, but I never lost my business. I've been dead 30 years, and I'm still ashamed of you. Wow, that was wild. Was generated in whole or substantially by artificial intelligence. The Lincoln Project paid for and is responsible for the content of this advertising. That is wild, dude. They do not pull punches, do they, at the Lincoln Project? Jesus. You know, Charlie Sheen told a story. I don't know if it's a true story. I don't know when it happened or what. But, you know, it's a little bit of a longer video, so I'm just going to summarize it for you here. Because the Lincoln Project pointed out that Donald Trump ruined the Trump name. And I built is crap because of you. The brand I built is terrible as a result of Donald Trump's decisions. Charlie Sheen summed it up pretty succinctly. He said he was getting married to this woman and um, Donald Trump was there. He couldn't make the wedding. So, you know, he said hey to Charlie Sheen and he said, you know what? I'm so sorry. I cannot make the wedding. Let me give you a gift. And he took his cufflinks off of his shirt there and he gave them to charlie sheen and he said they're like real platinum and stuff like super expensive we're talking hundred thousand five hundred thousand dollar maybe a million dollar cufflinks very valuable right and uh charlie sheen um about six months later has some people over appraising some jewelry at his house he's like you know what i got something else why don't you tell me what this is worth stamped trump by the way according to charlie sheen the um the cufflinks were stamped with the trump name and the jewelry appraiser puts the loop up to her eye and looks at it and says, these are fake. This is cubic zirconia. And it's just like plated. It's worth nothing. Stamped with Trump's name. Charlie Sheen said, that kind of sums the man up, doesn't it? It's all just kind of a show. He pretends to be this big, important, rich, special thing. When in reality, he's cubic zirconia and gold plated. The brand I built is crap because of you. The Trump brand is viewed, in my opinion, as garbage. Anyway, well, I love that. Lincoln Project is really interesting. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Uh, I love what they're doing over there. That's just great. I don't trust Twitter at all. And what the hell is this video I'm looking at? I'm sorry, just have a banana. Just eat the banana. If you're the audio audience listening right now, let me just explain what I'm seeing. I open up Twitter. I find in front of me a right-wing watch video. Right-wing watch, super trustworthy company. And they have a video from The Blaze. The Blaze is a TV network created by Glenn Beck after he was fired from or left Fox News. He was the primetime guy for a while, like Bill O'Reilly, Tucker Carlson, or Megyn Kelly. He was the guy. When he left Fox News, he created The Blaze, and now I've just pulled up this video, just the first video I saw after opening Twitter. It's a black guy, sh shirtless at least, sitting on the floor, 
with one of the Blaze hosts telling him to eat the banana, and he's holding the banana up to his face while the black guy cries, and he's rubbing the banana on his nose to get him to eat it. And at some point in this video that I'm going to cut because of TOS, he crams the banana down his throat, and it looks very questionable. I don't know why I'm seeing this on a Family Values website, you know, a Family Values network from a Family Values owner, but here we sit. I don't know why I'm seeing this on The Blaze. A Mormon guy runs this TV network, but here we are. Eat the banana, it's gonna be okay. Eat the banana. Eat the banana. Stick it in your mouth. Stick it in your mouth. Stick it in your mouth. What the hell is happening, dude? I don't know what this is. I just opened Twitter and this is here. And why is this guy looking at the situation so pleased? I don't understand. I don't understand. I want to step back a little, but I don't want to see that again. Oh, God. Step back too far. Get it in there. Get it in there. Dude, what the hell is this? I don't... Okay, this is this is posted by Right Wing Watch. What the? That's Alex Stein. Okay, back when we used to regularly cl cover Glenn Beck, he talked endlessly about how his network was to be a platform for spreading God's message. Then the blaze merged with CRTV, and now it's turned into this. Beck must be very proud. Okay, that that makes more sense. Wow, I okay, I came to the twit to find the latest Lincoln Project ad, and I found that instead. Lincoln Project. <laughs> what the? I don't, I don't understand. Okay. Oh, and her name is Stacy Campbell. Look her up. So funny. AKA the Shaking Head Prophetess. You know, why not? I got a minute. All right. Shaking Head Prophetess. Let's see here. Okay. Wait, I got to jump to the beginning of that. Okay. What happens here? How does she lead into this? <laughs> I was in the room. She's pretending to be possessed by God, I guess, huh? When the Holy Spirit first fell on David Roos like that. Why, why, who decides to make this their thing? Why did she make this her thing? I don't understand. She thought this was like cool or interesting or good. The shaking head prophetess or prophet or whatever. Just absurd. My kid's grandma's old church. It's a Methodist church. They had a weird preacher there at one point. It was before my time. Like I went to that church for a time after leaving Jehovah's Witnesses. And uh, we had Pastor Jeff, who was very obviously gay, but was not out. He was married to a woman. Anyway, before Pastor Jeff, there was a guy that nobody liked who never wore shoes he walked up there to the stage and gave his sermons barefoot because he wanted to be known as the barefoot preacher. Why are people like this? What possesses people to be like this? Apparently, this is like 10 years old, this video is. 2014. God began to talk to us about a move of the Spirit that would come. But when we were in our 20s, he said that the greatest move that we would ever see would come upon the children behind us. Like, that's got to hurt, right? Is she not going to give herself whiplash or something? It's got to, like, mess her neck up. And this is on a, I believe this is like the original, right? Is this a tsunami of deception of the Toronto blessing continues to flood God TV? Oh, no, maybe this isn't the original. Wow, this is nuts. You know what this reminds me of, though? It reminds me of this video right here. You remember Paula White was Trump's spiritual advisor? Strike and 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 strike until you have victory for every enemy that is aligned against you. This was a uh, prophetic sermon she was giving because they just found out Trump didn't win the 2020 election and she was ordering angels to come to Earth and burn like Biden's ballot so Trump would win or something. 
Let there be that we would strike the ground, for you will give us victory, God. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. Dude, people are so weird. Why are people like this? How did we end up where we are? And, and how did they end up where they are, for that matter? My God, dude. These people are so odd. And look, like, look at Kenneth Copeland. He, for the record, he didn't become that strange. Kenneth Copeland didn't. He's always been that weird. You look at old pictures of Kenneth Copeland, and you can just see it in his eyes. 1971 Word of Faith broadcast, message four. Immediately, the word of God immediately. Dude, this is Kenneth Copeland from 1971. It puts me against the disease, against the physical part, against... Dude, okay, I need to watch this whole thing. If you guys want to see me watch this whole thing, Owen Unfiltered YouTube channel, Wednesday and Thursday mornings, 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. I'm watching this. You can bet your bottom dollar. That's the next thing on my list. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you think about all that in the comments. This is just nuts.